Sorry about that, Mr. Salstein. Where were we? In the garden, with my wife, having our coffee and a fag. There'd always be these two seagulls, I was saying, always together. Never saw them apart, not once. Then one day I saw only George. George? I'd given them both names, these seagulls. George and Georgina. I guess they must have looked like a couple of Georges, but that's how I came to know them anyway. And I did too know them. I, I could tell them apart like a pea and a carrot like a man and a woman. But then, this one morning, there was only George. Georgina was never normally too far away, so I decided to wait for her to turn up and wish her a good morning. You know, as you do. Give my doubts to the birds on that steeple top. Watch them fly to open sky and free them all. Give me a season, a season without the gray. While she was dying, every night I brought her these flowers, the very same flowers, red roses that I'd given when we first met. And one day she was lying, her head on the pillow, I thought asleep. She suddenly said, no, no more flowers. I said, why not? She said, it isn't the same. She said, the flowers were when you loved me. You and I were really in love. She said, now, I don't want them. She was one week from dying. Kira, that's fucking hard. The point is, today is crunch day, Trish. I, I can't say too much, not just at present, because it's all very hush-hush. But the reason Gavin Ring Main is here is to make me an offer. Oh, I can't be any more precise, but let's just say we might be looking at a little pied de terre in Westminster. OK, enough said. Now, oh, it's vital we impress this chap. He's an old school friend, so he's on our side. Just pull out all the stops. There's a good girl. Tell him I'm, um, 
I, I am sliced hobis, you know, all the usual rubbish. Look, I um, I I, I was having a chat with. Uh, well, I was having a think, and I wondered if we should try it on the same mattress for a bit, just to see if we could. I, I mean, it's been some time. I know it's been. Well, about um, 17 years, hasn't it? So we may be a bit, well, you may be a bit rusty, you know, but I'm prepared to give it a whirl. Crack open a bottle of bubbly, root out the frilly nightwear, you know, all that rubbish. How do you feel? Oh, for the love of... Where's my bloody wife? It's all about money. The whole of life is about money. Raveston's rich. Raveston can do anything he likes. Raveston can have sex in the afternoon. Well, that isn't because he has money. I can't have sex in the afternoon. It's not because of that. It's quite different, Gordon. Oh, that was it. We walked past it. I'm not interested. It's only a mouldy old bookshop. I want to know why I can't have sex in the afternoon. Not so loud. Why can't I? It's simply because I have no money. We agreed to wait until we had some... You agreed to wait? I didn't agree. Until when? You have an appointment. It's, it's full of books. It's a bookshop. What do you expect? Fruit and vegetables? If I get the job, can I have sex in the <laughs> afternoon? Oh, Gordon, we have nowhere to go in the afternoon. Not an alleyway or a park shelter or a bandstand in the park just won't do. Not, not for us. I will not make love where dogs have peed. You're so middle class. That's not middle class, that's hygienic. Oh yeah, I'm middle class, and so are you. That's always been my problem. Soon. soon? Could you uh, put a date on that? Could it be Thursday? I have to get back to work. Well. Well, this was lovely. Yes, it was nice. Perhaps you can bring Gillian next time you come. Perhaps. Your mother worries about you. Ought to settle down at your age before it's too late. I've always enjoyed acting and um, having been for a long time in education I did a lot of amateur acting and ever since the age of 11 um, I played a key role when I was 17 in as Crown in Antigone um, and have played in lots of productions including musical theatre and then when I retired from education I went to professional acting school um, and I saw something I've always wanted to do and I'm now in a financial position to do it and basically because I really enjoy acting. You won't have to, darling. Who's there? Is that you, Jag? No, it's your father. You might say that is a bit of a problem, but they let me come back. Who let you come back? I'm not, uh, well, really allowed to say, Peggy, but let's just say one of uh, the subcontracted uh, agencies. <laughs> Always joking, Dad. Why have you come back? Oh, be because you were in, in so much pain. Oh, I, I can't believe what I'm hearing or seeing. Dad, why did you leave me? I was so happy. 
I had to. We all have our times of departure from this world, and it was my turn, I'm afraid, and besides, your mother... Uh... But I needed you. Why take your precious life? It wasn't your turn. Peggy, when you were as low as I felt, life didn't seem worth it. You worked me, Daddy Smith. Can't lie to cover up the shame of it. I know. I am sorry. The life was perfect, and you went off and left me. I'm so sorry. I, I broke the law killing myself, but leaving you was unforgivable. Oh, sorry isn't good enough. I don't care about the law. I need it to my dad. Would you prefer if I go? I, I, I can see I'm upsetting you. Oh, no, 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 of course not. I love you, Dad. Peggy. Peggy, I have always loved you, my child. Dad, was our mistake? A mistake? No, 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 no. It, it, it was just a short nightmare of a marriage, and uh, I suppose I didn't really love your mother. We were very different sorts of people. But when you came along, I loved you more than life itself. Oh, is that why mother's never loved me? Yes. She thought we both ruined her life. She, she was very jealous of the love we had. I mean... Your mother's mental state is, to say the least, erratic. What's going to happen, Dad? What, with the war? Yeah. I can only say that one day the war will be over and uh, there will be great celebrations. <laughs> I wish I could believe you. You must. We all get very down, but we must try to look on the bright side. <laughs> When I pretend I'm gay, I never feel that way. I'm only painting the clouds with sunshine. When I hold back a kill to make a smile appeal, I'm only painting the clouds with sunshine. Painting a rose, beautiful hues, covered with gold and old rose. Playing with clouds, trying to drown all of my woes. Though things may not look right, they'll all turn out alright.